Mr. Dabola, can you start the... There's your mic, there's your mic. And if everybody can get, actually, I'll get that mic, right? Thank you. If we can all gather, like, beside the podium, because the truck's going to move up ahead a little bit. Good morning, everyone. So, so you can move ahead as soon as we get the National Congress of Italian Canadians. We see thee rise, the true north strong and free. From far and wide, O oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. God keep our land glorious and free. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for Welcome everyone to this historic event. I'd like to um, begin by um, introducing some of the uh, guests uh, this morning here at uh, Queen's Park. Starting off with uh, Laura Banese, representing the Liberal government, Mr. Frank Cleese, representing the Conservatives, and uh, Mr. Rosario Marquez, representing the NDP. I'd also like to uh, welcome this morning uh, Mr. Ari Reif, who is with the Canadian Perez Foundation for Peace. He's uh, the co-sponsor with the National Congress of Italian Canadians, bringing the two fathers uh, together and bringing them to, uh, to Toronto for this historic event. The two fathers, as you know, have a unique, uh, and share a unique story that's um, very important from the standpoint of bringing a message, not only of the importance of organ and tissue donation, but also of peace, and how we really are united in one uh, uh, one family, one community. I'd like to begin by uh, calling upon Laura Banese to say a few words. Thank you. Thank you for having me here this morning. I am uh, quite uh, touched to be present. Uh, I want to start by thanking uh, George Marcello and uh, Step by Step, everyone involved with Step by Step, for uh, bringing awareness uh, to Ontarians about organ donation. I have uh, known Marcello for many years and since he was waiting for his first transplant and I admire his determination in bringing the issue forward. Um, and I also want to thank uh, my colleagues. Uh, my co could not be here today and uh, whom I'm representing and uh, Mr. Frank Lees and Rosario Marquez. Together, they are bringing forward uh, a very uh, important resolution and uh, here at the legislature and uh, bringing the issue forward. So that's very important. I also want to say uh, thank you to the two donor fathers who are here with us today. Um, I mentioned uh, a few moments ago that uh, they have gone through incredible loss, but the memories of uh, their two children lives on through the gift of life. And there are, uh, I believe, 12 uh, different donors uh, that are uh, donor recipients that are now living uh, thanks to the enormous contribution that uh, these two dads have given. Um, 
I'm very proud to say that our government is trying to find ways to make it easier for people to donate. Uh, most recently, uh, we have um, uh, now established a website, www.donor.ca, and people uh, can go on the website and with the click of the button. It's easy, it's efficient, and most importantly, it saves lives. It's important to bring awareness to this issue. I also have meetings from our premier uh, today uh, that I have with me and that I want to do to all the people that are present. On behalf of the Government of Ontario, I am delighted to warmly welcome step-by-step -step Organ Transplant Association founder George Marcello, donor dads Greg Green and Ismael Tati, as students from De La Salle College as you bring the torch of life to Queen's Park. For a suffering patient, organ or tissue donation often means the difference between life and death. Too many people face an agonizing wait for donations that could save their lives. That is why the Ontario government continues to work with our healthcare partners to increase organ and tissue donation. We want to do everything we can to ensure that more Ontarians get the second chance of life that they deserve. To Reg and Ismael, as a parent myself, I cannot even begin to fathom what you have gone through. Your selfless commitment to this cause has touched and saved many lives. And for that, I am deeply grateful. I would also like to thank the dedicated individuals of Step by Step and everyone who has volunteered to carry the torch of life. Know that your collective efforts inspire others to take the courageous step of giving the most powerful gift of all, the gift of life. Signed by Dalton McGinty, Premier of Ontario. And George, if I could call you up here just to receive this. Can I get the donor dads with me? Yeah. Right? And the donor dads? Yeah. You can take them. Thank you, and uh, it's an honor for me uh, to participate uh, in this uh, occasion. Uh, I'm pleased uh, to represent uh, Tim Hudak, the uh, leader of the official opposition, and my uh, colleagues in the PC caucus, uh, all of whom support uh, this initiative. And uh, I just want to say that uh, I so deeply respect uh, George Marcello and his leadership in Step by Step. Uh, taking the issue of uh, organ donor awareness not only across this province uh, but across our country and in fact internationally. Uh, I want to uh, also in a special way welcome uh, Mr. Green and Mr. Khatib here uh, to the steps of the legislature in this great province of Ontario and in our great country. I think it's only fitting uh, that uh, we have here representatives uh, from other countries uh, but they're here for a common purpose, and that is to help raise awareness of organ donation. Uh, I came uh, to uh, understand in a very real way the importance of organ donation uh, by sitting across uh, my board table in my constituency office with constituents who have been on waiting lists for many years and whose lives are in the balance, dependent on an organ donor. And that really is what uh, caused me to be begin my advocacy uh, to raise awareness for organ donation and to ensure that our government uh, support uh, not only the awareness issues but the registration and then uh, indeed uh, the application throughout our medical system, uh, the important uh, initiative of uh, organ donation. Uh, I'm so pleased to be here with my colleagues from both the NDP and the Liberal Caucus uh, we will be jointly bringing forward a resolution uh, that uh, reads as follows. 
that in the opinion of this House, the government develop and establish a torch of life alert system, reflecting the Amber Alert System, to serve as an option for medical personnel and parents to make public the immediate and critical transplant needs of children under the age of 18 for organ and tissue donations and other medical needs in the hope of more quickly securing a donor under the existing guidelines pertaining to organ donation and registration in Ontario involving the cooperation of the Ministry of Health, parents, medical personnel and hospital administrators. And I think as we move forward uh, clearly we can see that this is something that all parties can get behind and ensure that we have a quick implementation of really what is a life-saving measure. Thank you. Next I'd like to call on uh, Rosario Marchese, member for Trinity Spadina. Thanks very much, Michael. Uh, I'm very happy to be here to support uh, the NDP to uh, represent my party and also to replace uh, Peter Comos, who's done uh, a tremendous amount of work in this area with other colleagues in the, in the legislature. Like my colleagues, I want to uh, thank Mr. Khalib and thank Mr. Green for bringing the torch here and for reminding us that this is something that affects everyone universally and that through their act of kindness and their act of peace, they have been able to save uh, many lives as a result of their permission to, to have their sons' uh, organs donated to, to, to other people. And I want to thank uh, George and Marcello as well for the tireless work that he has done over the past 20 years because of his indefatigable advocacy. Many, many people in Canada and in Ontario, particularly beyond Canada, have begun to give uh, or to give permission so the organs could be given to those who are desperately in need. For many of us, the only time we think about organ donation is when we get a reminder uh, when we have to renew the driver's license. But for people who are waiting for an organ, they, that's all they think about, day in and day out, every moment of their lives. And when only 20% of Canadians are donors, or at least have given permission to donate, it means that we have a tremendous amount of work to do. And so the passing of the torch here today is a reminder about the work that we have to do. It's a reminder that we are all very fragile, and we're not going to be here forever. It's a reminder that something could happen to any one of us, including any one of our family members, and that it's important to be able to sign those cards so that if something should happen to us, we can save lives. And if something happens to uh, somebody else, we uh, can make a huge contribution uh, to making sure that their, their lives are, are, uh, are saved. So, happy to be here. Happy to support this resolution, which I believe goes a long way to creating the urgency that is desperately needed. Making the torch of life alert uh, a reality is not something the resolution can do, but I think a bill eventually should be able to do that and it would make an incredible to contribution to giving more and more uh, of, our, of, our organ, of our organs to those who are uh, in, in, in desperate need. So I'm happy to be part of a tripartite, tripartite uh, uh, resolution here that is going to make this happen. Thank you. I'd now like to ask from the Toronto Police Force, Superintendent Dave McCormick to join us.